G'day to all our Coral Expeditions family. My name's Chris Doan and uh, I'm currently living in the southwest of Western Australia and you can see behind me a patch of Jarrah Forest and I think it's the Jarrah Forest that's helped me keep reasonably sane during this uh, lockdown period. Um, the last six or eight weeks we haven't really been anywhere much but um, Every day we've been able to walk through the forest and uh, look at the various plants and animals and things that we see there. Quite often see forest kangaroos and emus and uh, lots of small birds of course. Uh, the flowers are very very interesting even at this time of the year. So first day of winter today but uh, leading into winter there's a number of um, uh, flowering plants and uh, lots of things. Uh, when we go in springtime, it's just an unbelievable uh, display of wildflowers in this area. Well, I'm not here to talk about the uh, southwest of Western Australia. Um, my job with uh, coral expeditions is as a guest lecturer, and um, I started with them uh, way back in uh, 1996. And every year I've been uh, doing trips with them, mostly in the Kimberley, uh, sometimes uh, in Tasmania, which has been uh, wonderful and also the trips between Darwin and Cairns, or Cairns to Darwin, I love those as well. So uh, those have been uh, fantastic uh, opportunities and um, I hope to be able to keep doing those for you know many years yet. I, I really love it, particularly the Kimberley. Um, I lived and worked there uh, as the regional manager for the Department of Conservation and Land Management. For um, I was in the Kimberley for about uh, 38 years, so uh, and it's only fairly recently that we've come down here uh, to the cold country of WA. I really miss the Kimberley and uh, particularly this year of course uh, haven't been able to go back there as yet but uh, hopefully things will get uh, up and running again in the fairly near future and um, I'm certainly looking forward to that. Everywhere we go in the Kimberley is uh, wonderful, spectacular in its own way but uh, one thing I've been particularly thinking about this year and uh, hopefully it's still got an opportunity to happen is the centenary of the mermaid tree. Uh, the mermaid tree was carved uh, back in 1820 by uh, Philip Parker King and his crew when they careened their vessel the mermaid at, uh, at careening bay and it's actually 200 years so it's a double centenary uh, this year and uh, we were planning to have a celebration there on the 25th of September, which uh, Coral Expeditions would uh, be involved in. Uh, still not impossible that that could happen, um, but um, if all else fails, then we'll celebrate the bicentenary next year. Uh, wouldn't be quite the same, but uh, it's better than nothing. And uh, as everybody keeps saying, we're in unprecedented times. Um, Anyway, the, um, the idea there is that we would um, have a ceremony uh, planting some, uh, a couple of uh, clones of the actual mermaid tree itself and uh, some extra signage and so on. So people understand just how important a site that is from a, a European uh, heritage point of view along the Kimberley coast. The other things that I really miss about the Kimberley trips um, uh, visits to places like uh, the horizontal waterfalls uh, Montgomery Reef, uh, absolutely spectacular and uh, the, the scenery in general is just uh, mind-blowing. The waterfalls early in the year uh, and the whales uh, on their migrations later on in the year all make it just such a wonderful place. Um, also miss uh, the Aboriginal art sites that we go to and uh, as of last year we started having uh, on-site uh, welcomes and uh, dance and so on by uh, Winnemulgambra people at places like Jar Island and uh, that was uh, absolutely um, spectacular and uh, quite emotive and uh, we as Coral Expeditions were the, the first uh, company to receive that welcome. Uh, not the only one but uh, it was a, a great um, uh, you know, um, thing for the uh, people to do for us and uh, all our passengers uh, really felt involved and uh, something very special about that happening on site. So I'd just like to uh, finalise uh, this little talk by saying 
uh, how I hope you're all well, keeping uh, well and uh, not too bored or anything with this uh, coronavirus shutdown. Um, I think it's been, uh, not many people have found it uh, very restrictive, or it has has been very restrictive for most people, I should say. And uh, But other people have uh, been able to find it an uh, opportunity to um, you know, add to their knowledge, read up on different things, and uh, particularly to anticipate um, future travels and future activities. And uh, I'm certainly looking forward to getting back to the Kimberley. Best wishes to everybody.